Modern-day research opportunities are broad and varied, with access to more resources and information than ever. We make new discoveries at a rapidly increasing rate. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be jumping into some discoveries that you may not have made note of, with some spanning the cosmos and others being right in someone's back garden. NASA's TESS spacecraft has spotted 2,200 new worlds. NASA almost always appears to be at the forefront of space exploration, and TESS has been another successful space mission, giving us more information about what lies beyond our planet. TESS, the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, left us here on Earth in the April of 2018 to embark upon a two-year space mission, scanning the cosmos for potential planets that lie not too far away. On a monthly basis, this spacecraft made its way to a new set of stars, positioning itself to let us observe the skies. Astronomers back on Earth eagerly awaited the results from TESS, as the satellite would scan, searching for a distinctive lowering in brightness of a star. This would indicate that a planet had passed in between a star and TESS. After just two years up in space, TESS reportedly discovered 2,241 potential new exoplanets. Scientists will study these candidates and determine whether or not they truly can be classed as exoplanets, alongside numerous other profiles and views of these planets that will appear in a catalogue. Natalia Guerrero, an MIT researcher and lead author on the research paper, said, The exciting thing is to look at the map of TESS exoplanets as a kind of to-do list, with 2,000 things on it. Whilst this positive attitude is exciting, a 2,000-item-long jobs list is certainly a long one. Where to start? The initial action taken in the creation of the catalogue is the long-winded task of sifting through the observations. Scientists have had to pour through 16,000 targets to decipher which alerts from TESS were planets and which were other outer space phenomena. This revealed a possible 2,241 planets. This results in a whopping number of candidate planets to be explored further, or put on Guerrero's to-do list, all of which have the potential to host alien life forms. The next step in this large-scale research was to run tests that aim to narrow down false positives, further filtering data that could be an indication of a different event in space or celestial body, as opposed to an exoplanet. This eliminated 500 of the candidate planets, proving to have been a valuable exercise. The following actions more closely reflect the already established procedures, dubbing the candidate's planets object of interest and conducting a series of tests to confirm the planetary status of these newly discovered possible planetary bodies. This procedure is known as confirming the planet. Considerations include the size and mass of the object being evaluated to ensure they meet the minimum requirements to be considered a planet. As of yet, 120 of TESS's candidate planets in the catalogue have been determined to be planets not due to a high dismissal rate, but rather due to the inaccessibility of often occupied equipment. This catalogue will contribute to the research for decades to come. The vast number of candidate planets to explore followed by the confirmed planets gives a goldmine of possible research that can be conducted. Despite a huge range of research to undertake, some planets have prompted more exciting suggestions than others, stealing the spotlight, or rather the starlight, as a series of firsts have been carried out in this unique space exploration. Pi Mensi C is described as a sub-Neptune, with a thick atmosphere and was the first planetary discovery of TESS. Similarly, TOI 700D is the first planet identified by TESS that is both a comparable and approximately similar size to Earth and orbits in a habitable zone of the star within its solar system, making it a strong contender for a planet that may contain alien life. Then there are other notable discoveries which are independently astonishing, regardless as to implications for alternate life forms. DS Tuck AB has been pinned as one such planet, believed to be six times larger than Earth, though only 45 million years old, relatively young for a planet of this scale. Furthermore, LHS 3844b can complete an entire orbit of its star within 11 hours, 
a much shorter year than ours here on Earth. However, despite this interesting find, it is unlikely anything more than a rock in space will be uncovered here. TESS has plans to continue exploring for another two years, leaving scientists the job of connecting the dots, according to Guerrero, as more discoveries are made. Archaeologists uncover secret passage to the underworld at Pyramid of the Moon in Teotihuacan. The Pyramid of the Moon, found within Mexico, is the second largest pyramid you can find within San Juan Teotihuacan, with only the Pyramid of the Sun beating its grandeur. You can track down this monument at the end of the Avenue of the Dead. The Avenue of the Dead has been used as a site for Mayan rituals, in which both animal and human sacrifices were made. However, building on research carried out up to 300 years ago, recently archaeologists unearthed a concealed tunnel within the pyramid, leading into a 15-meter chamber embedded well into the Pyramid of the Moon. Some archaeologists have suggested that this tunnel was believed to have acted as a passage into the underworld. The existence of this tunnel was revealed by archaeologists affiliated with Mexico's National Institute of Anthropology and History, or INAH. Though the research project was rather collaborative with geophysicist teams from the National Autonomous University of Mexico. During the 1980s, a series of excavations began to be conducted, revealing skeletons appearing to have cranial deformation and injuries tucked away within the beloved Pyramid of the Moon. Another strange discovery made throughout multiple excavations is a mix of green stone objects. Many also claim that the discovery of riches made within the tunnel suggest there could be more beneath the surface, underground, with the Plays de la Luna, presenting the possibility of a different entranceway into a possible network of tunnels. This finding presents a large opportunity to develop our cultural and historical knowledge due to the mecca of civilization emerging from the city of Teotihuacan, a place of great sacred value, which subsequently received offerings of higher significance. Therefore, discovering a new aspect to a site of cultural importance gives insight to researchers into the varying relationships and roles within communities and regions of Mesoamerica. Many hypotheses and predictions have been confirmed, solidifying some cultural assumptions made. Through the discovery of this temple, within the Pyramid of the Moon. Perhaps the most notable example of this is the belief that those who lived within Teotihuacan aimed to replicate the underworld through the designing of their temples, explaining the concealed and underground nature of the tunnel and temple that were discovered. Using electrical scanning technology, an image of the subsurface was able to be formed, allowing archaeologists to identify the remains of various animals, including wolves and pumas, as well as an ability to identify different areas of the subsurface. Both culturally and scientifically, a breakthrough of this scale is of huge significance, providing a glimpse into a society we know little definitive information about. The Vaser Ship in 1956, a Swedish marine technician named Anders Franzen rediscovered Vesa, which was at one point in history the most high-tech warship in the world. Built between the years 1626 and 1628, the ship made its maiden voyage on the 10th of August, 1628. The much-hyped ship sank during its first voyage. It could only travel 1,300 meters before sinking right in front of the eyes of the horrified public that had assembled to see off the most ambitious warship to have ever been created in European history. Vesa became unstable immediately after starting its first voyage. The exact reasons for its instability could not be determined at the time. In fact, researchers and military experts debated for centuries over the various reasons that could have resulted in making the ship unstable and leading to its sinking. According to some modern-day researchers who have studied the remains of the ship in detail, the gun deck of Vesa was extremely heavy. They believe that the ship was designed by someone who had no previous experience of designing a heavily armed ship. Also, the fact that the king ordered to complete the ship as soon as possible led to the building of an unstable ship that could not survive the first few gusts of wind it encountered. Vesa had 64 guns, including 48 24-pounders, 8 3-pounders, 2 1-pounders, and 6 howitzers. The total weight of the ship was 1,210 tons. 
It had a spared length of 69 meters and a height of 52.5 meters. The ship could carry 145 sailors and 300 soldiers. This magnificent piece of European naval history has been a subject of research for many decades. In 1961, the archaeologists recovered thousands of artifacts belonging to Vesa. They also managed to recover the remains of 15 people in and around the wreckage of the ship. The recovered artifacts included cannons, weapons, clothing, coins, tools, cutlery, drinks, food items and sails. Today, the ship is present at the Vesa Museum in Stockholm. Over time, it has become one of the most popular tourist attractions in Sweden. But what do you make of these three recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.